Good morning and welcome to the press review. The Warsaw Voice invites all art lovers to see a unique collection of 250 pastels by the most recognized artists from all over the world, such as Jan Francois Mila, Stanisław Ignacy Witkiewicz or Stanisław Wyspiański. The exhibition called Masters of the Pastel is being held at the National Museum in Warsaw from the beginning of November until the end of January. Owing to the delicate nature of pastels, the works cannot be frequently displayed to the public, which is why the exhibition is enjoying great popularity. According to the visitors' opinions presented on TVP Warszawa, the exhibition is delightful. Most certainly, the event is a wonderful opportunity to broaden your horizons and deepen your knowledge about pastel art, so if you are interested in art, don't miss it. Another must-see cultural event in Warsaw, highly recommended by Gazeta Wilanowska, is the Royal Garden of Light, an annual exhibition set up around Warsaw's Wilanow Palace. The opening ceremony took place on 24th of October, but the full exhibition has been available from the beginning of November. The event is in fact a light show. Visitors can admire a variety of statues and lakes with thousands of bright lights. This series' lead motive is Alice in Wonderland, which meets with viewers' great approval. The Royal Garden of Lights is an unrepeatable chance for both children and adults to enjoy a unique light show telling a story about the past. For those who are interested but unfortunately cannot attend the event now, the good news is that it will be held until 13 of March. Now a few words about the weather. Gazeta Wyborcza reported a sharp drop in temperature in Warsaw at the beginning of New Year. It was over 17 degrees Celsius below zero on 5th of January. Those who are subject to meteoropathy may have felt discomfort due to the low pressure which ranged between 990 hectopascals and 1000 hectopascals. Fortunately, the average wind speed did not exceed 17 km per hour. The Institute of Meteorology and Water Management says the frontal system surging above Poland is approaching from Scandinavia. It's called a cold polar continental climate. According to the weather forecast in Gazeta Wyborcza, there will be no severe winter this year. For all those who are planning to take part in winter activities, the good news is that in few days the temperatures will grow again and some snowfall may be expected. So let your children seize the opportunity and make a snowman. Now something for fans of Agnieszka Radwańska, our famous tennis player. On onet.pl you will find a report of her last match with Eugenie Borchardt from Canada. Radwańska took a convincing win and advanced to the third round of Australian Open. She will play her next match against Monika Piu, a Puerto Rican. Although some experts believe that Gadwańska should win easily, no one can be sure of the final result. We all keep our finger crossed for Agnieszka. The news of the last terrorist attack, which took place in Paris on 13th of November, hit the frontal pages of all newspapers worldwide. Terrorism is a global problem and a threat to all of us, no matter where we live. We should pay attention to any suspicious behavior or situation and report it as soon as possible. According to the Rzeczpospolita, the terrorists involved in the attack in Paris were members of ISIS. The crime scenes took places in highly crowded public places, including a restaurant, a concert hall, a shopping center and an underground station. 129 people were reported dead. At least 20 of them were foreigners. Most of the terrorists were killed, but the police is still looking for accomplices of the crime. To commemorate the memory of the victims, the light of Eiffel Tower were turned off. In an act of solidarity with Mojuring France, some other countries displayed the colors of the French flag on their major building facades. <coughs> the citizens of Krakow will be interested in an article in Gazeta Wyborcza which covers the local ecological problem of heavy smoke reported on the night of 26 November. The air pollution was several times higher than the accepted air quality standards. Poor visibility caused many problems in the city. The 
the first degree of air pollution was announced in the city and the engine areas. The president of Krakow promised that they would try to help people in any possible way to prevent further growing air pollution. The authorities ensured the free public transport for car drivers and their passengers. So if you live in Krakow and care about the environment, leave your kind behind and go to work by bus. Thank you very much. This is all for today. Goodbye.